so hello friends and in the last lecture as we saw that minimum steps to reduce to one how many number of steps are required to reduce to one so for that we saw the top down approach so in this video we are going to see the bottom up approach so firstly see if you can think any one of the approaches then it is a high chance that you should be able to think the other approach which means that if you have thought about the top down approach so i will highly encourage that just imagine you know the answer for one then from one how will you reach to two from two to three from three to four and so on up till the required value n let's start and we will take the uh, previous example only and we will find minimum number of steps to reduce to 10 very cool so as we know that in bottom up approach we start from the you know least value base case so for us the base case was one right when we move to two so we have two operations in mind we can divide by two we can reduce by one on dividing by two are two reduced to one on reducing by one it also reduced to one so i will check okay up till reaching one i had zero Matlab means my number of steps required are zero so if i am moving from this one to two so one step will be required so i have two methods i will divide by two i will reach here i will reduce by one i will reach here i will add one my in my zero and i will check okay zero plus one it is one zero plus one it is one maximum is sorry minimum is one so i will write one here thus as you can see that i have written minimum number of steps to reach to two now i will do the same thing for my three i will divide by three i will reach to i am dividing sorry let me write it again i am dividing by three i am reaching to one i am reducing by one i am reaching to two right so the value here it was one so one plus one because see one is sorry zero is the value here and one because of i am adding one step to it so it is one and here it is one so one plus one one is because of this and one because i'm adding one step so it is two now i know that i will take off the, all the minimum ones right so rather i what i will do is that i will take minimum out of these two which is one and two so i will take one here now rather than writing uh, like whole part i will only write the like what are the minimum values i am taking so uh, yeah so for four i have two options like i divide by two or i can reduce by one so at any case i am having one one so i will take the minimum one which is one and then i will add one in it so i will get two here now for five i have one options that i can reduce by one and then i can do anything in here so yeah it's pretty good that i will have to, to choose to five i have only one option that i will take four so it is two plus one which is three now at six i know that i can reduce to five by reducing by one i can move to three by dividing by two or i can move to two by dividing by three and i can see that minimum here out of these two is one so i will write one i take minimum right one and then i add one in it so it is two very fine then uh, let me raise it back okay so now i am on my number seven so i can reduce by one and i can not do any operations as such for that so it is three only for eight i can reduce by one uh, let me erase this i can reduce by one and i can divide by two i will reach to four and any operations no more operations so minimum is two i will add one in it so i will get i will get three now same case for nine uh, same case for nine i can reduce to eight i can reduce to three by dividing by three i can choose minimum out of these two which is one so i'm adding one in it so it will become two then i have number 10 so i can reduce to one i can reduce to five i can see that new out of these two is two like for nine it is two so i will add one in it so it will become three ah here as you can see that it is my final answer so now you must have uh, seen that okay 
from for a particular ith which means let mark it as the ith value so for that particular ith value i am checking the i minus 1th i by 2th and i by 3th and i by 2th and i by 3th only when it is possible so by that i am finding the answer for my ith value that is the case which we will do so now i have explained you the problem like the approach i will highly recommend to write the code first let me see the recording yeah uh, i will highly recommend you to write the code first and then uh, you can resume the video and i will show you the code and explain it so i hope that you guys have written it first thing we will not do anything as we saw in the you know uh, top down approach that we had our dp array like global array and we memset it with minus 1 so here i had my dp array which is like in the main function and uh, then like i made of the same size although initialize i although i have initialized with zero but it is not necessary as such for you guys so yeah you can leave it but yeah if you not initialize it then please mark the case for zero like if your if although n will not be zero but if it is zero then like you can't do anything so yeah like it's not a although it's not a valid case but yeah you can still mark it as zero so our base case as i said that for n equal to 1 i have my answer as zero so see the result of a dp is what it's our answer and the index which means the value which means from for which i am mapping my answer is to is the value for which i need to find the answer so it's the index is nothing but the value for which i need to find the answer right then i simply move as i showed you in the explanation also that i move from 2 up till n to find the value of n i will do the same thing i will move from 2 up till the end and i will increase my like i like indexing by one because i need to go from 2 3 4 5 like up to the end then as i showed in the bottom of approach as well sorry top down approach as well that i will have three variables which i will initialize with uh, int max because at any steps i know that i need to have the minimum ones so default value should be maximum so that i will not take that value because it can have a garbage value if i am not initialize it so i will take that and i will check it like it's the same code if you are uh, like if you have seen the uh, previous video then it's exactly the same code which i wrote there exactly the same so here i did like i is modulus by 3 then i will update my q1 okay video is gone what happened so yeah there was a slight glitch i guess so in this i will take the minimum as i said in the last also that i need to take the minimum out of q1 q2 and q3 then i will have my answer in my dpi because for every index which means for every two for every like for two for three for four i need to show the minimum result which i can reach to that particular location then at last what i wanted was how i can reach to n like the number n right so our result could be dp of n so i hope that you guys have understood it although it was pretty same only the loop which you can see here it's extra like to actually visualize you okay you are moving from every like the least value to the every other value to reach to the final value so yeah that's it for this video and i hope that you guys have enjoyed it and if yes then please do hit the like button until then be happy and keep coding and see you guys in the next video bye